Hi there, my name is Claire Maxwell at Embodied Learning Systems. Today's video is about cranial nerve 12, which is responsible for all the muscles that shape your tongue on the inside and move your tongue in relationship to your jaw and your skull. But I have a subtopic <laughs> which is anxiety, uh, health anxiety. As I've been making this series about the 12 cranial nerves, I have really discovered that um, there's a lot of people who are suffering from anxiety uh, about their bodies. Um, it might be a sort of a low level state of anxiety it could be because something has gone wrong, especially with a particular nerve. Um, and as I've made these videos, I've discovered all the things that could go wrong because I've had students come to me curious about cranial nerve sequencing. So I just want to make a plug for the antidote to health anxiety. Uh, because health anxiety uh, makes healing really hard. And so cranial nerve sequencing is different than um, working medically because what I'm doing is I'm cultivating an attitude of wonder and awe. And there's actually scientists that are studying wonder and awe as, as um, healing attitudes uh, that actually bring about more well-being both in us as individuals and in our society. So um, this is my attempt to cultivate more wonder and awe about your body and specifically about your tongue. Okay, so let's begin. Um, get yourself comfortable in your chair and it's just going to be a short guided process of bringing attention <clears throat> to your tongue. And uh, first step, first step is to soften your belly. Maybe it would be good if you could see me a little bit more of my body. So I've got my hands on my belly. I have a little bit of support from my chair and I'm just softening my belly simply through touching the warmth of my hands. My belly is the bottom of my digestive system and it is full of fluid soft organs. So I'm going to begin to cultivate awareness of that fluidity just through a little movement. And I like to think of this as literally being that my belly itself could shift my weight a little bit in my chair. So to the side, to the side, you could circle a little bit. It could be very small, but it's literally letting the weight of your belly move and then settle. And you can engage that anytime you want uh, to remember that while we've got a lot of bones that support us, we also have this soft fluid um, digestive system and spinal cord that come up to support our throat and our mouth. And so now what I'd like you to do is open your lips and close your lips. Open your lips. and close your lips. And leave your lips closed as you begin to notice the sensation of your tongue.
Is it kind of tight and bunched? And if so, can you let it spread? So the, the muscle inside the tongue can curl it up, it can curl the edges up, it can bunch it up, or it can let it shape change and spread. So see what that's like. And so now, when you open your lips, let your tongue spread and really feel the bottom of your tongue resting in your lower jaw. It's lovely, soft, velvety tissue there. And you can breathe in through your nose or out through your nose with your lips closed. Or you can breathe out through your mouth and even in through your mouth with your lips open. So there's so many choices. And our tongue often um, is working harder than it needs to. So now what I'd like you to do is experiment with really softly just raising your tongue up to the roof of your mouth and then letting it soften down again to the bottom. And you can do that in any combination with your breathing that you like. See what's easiest for you. Now what begins to happen is that you notice it's really nice to breathe in through your nose with your tongue on the roof of your mouth. And you can either have the whole tongue up there or very necessary for speech. You can just raise the back and that makes the mm sound, but the front of your tongue is quite free. And so this raising and lowering of your tongue has four muscles innervated by your 12th cranial nerve and the bunching and spreading and shape changing of your tongue is also for little muscles inside your tongue. And all of that is um, innervated by cranial nerve 12. It's kind of like the gateway to your body. So um, I find it very soothing and um, relaxing to play around with it a little bit and just to enjoy the feeling of my tongue, the sensation of my tongue. Okay, I hope that was helpful. If you want to see uh, more information about, about this nerve and some pictures and be able to remember the uh, exploration, you can check out the link below uh, to a blog post um, about cranial nerve 12 and I hope this helps you cultivate a little bit more awe about this uh, incredible body we have. Okay, peace and love. Bye.